theme of today is getting the ball into wide areas. There's a channel there that you can get a runner into. If he's in there, he's unopposed. But what I don't want is somebody stood out there like this, which I find false. I want the ball. So the player's in here. Bang. Can we get a runner out there? Can we get the pass in there? Can he get a touch out of his feet? Can he deliver? You get three goals if you score a goal from across. Play. Nice ball, son. Nice ball. Here we go. Play. It was 4v4 with a floater or a spare man who played for the side in possession, but with a wide channel, still predominantly on the one side, and encouraging the one team to get their wide right player in there or a right-sided player in there to deliver across in and say, well, look, you can play normally down the middle and take a shot on goal, because that's realistic if it's on to do. But if you get an opportunity to get it into a wide area and you get a cross in, if you score from that, you'll get three goals. So really encouraging them at the right time to go wide because they get more reward um, if they get a goal from it. Play! 1-1! One, one. Work it out. If you can't go wide, go down the middle. Go down the middle. Now you got to work. Now you got to work. Now you got to work. Out of your feet. Hold it there. Hold it there. Please, please tell me why we're taking that early. Out of your feet. Drive in. Look where you're crossing from. Look where everyone is. Give them the ball back, please. That first touch we've just worked on. Out of your feet. Now mix your runs in, please. Nice. Oh, nice technique. Well kept down. The, the crossing and finishing is the culmination of all the possession work and being patient and probing. That's what we're looking for. There's got to be an end product in there for all the work that we're doing back here. And if we've got the ball, they're not hurting us.